Russian armed forces, using an Iskander missile system, have struck a position of S-300 missile systems in Ukraine's central Poltava region, Russian Defense Ministry reported on July 6. An oil refinery and a fuel storage facility from which military units of the armed forces of Ukraine were supplied were also targeted in the attacks in the past 24 hours. The crew of the Iskander M operational tactical missile system launched a missile attack on the position of the S-300 PS air defense system of the Ukrainian armed forces, located near the village of Koptivo in the Poltava region. As a result of the missile strike, two S-300 launchers were destroyed, the ministry's statement reads. The defense ministry added that a combat control vehicle, vehicles and personnel of the Ukrainian Armed Forces anti-aircraft missile crews were also destroyed during the attack. A guidance radar, a low-altitude detector, a warehouse of aircraft weapons and a Bayraktar unmanned aerial vehicles parking lot in two military airfields were also struck. On July 4, Russian Defense Ministry announced the destruction of a Ukrainian MiG-29 aircraft with the use of Iskander missile at the Dolgensivo airfield in Ukraine's Krivoy Rog region. Russian forces also destroyed aircraft weapons and aviation engineering vehicles in the area. The ministry released a video of the attack on the airfield. Iskander M missile system was also used in Russia's attack on Mergorod airfield in Ukraine's Poltava region on July 2 where five Ukrainian fighter jets were destroyed, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. Italy's Mount Etna one of Europe's most active volcanoes, erupted again in Sicily. The volcano is situated on the island of Sicily and the eruption caused Italy's Civil Protection Agency to raise the alert level in the area from green to yellow. Lava flowed down the sides of Mount Etna which is around 3,300 meters high. During the eruption of the Varagina crater, which had been dormant for four years, sounds like explosions were heard. After this, he threw out ash and smoke, as well as a large amount of red-hot rock. The volcanic activity from the two crates on the new cone has progressively intensified, allowing the cone to grow very rapidly. Italy has raised its alert level to yellow due to lava emissions, tremors, and the risk of more activity from the Etna volcano on the island of Sicily and the Stromboli volcano in the Tyrrhenian Sea. The yellow level was introduced due to the fact of lava emissions, the fixing of earth tremors, and the risk that the situation could quickly move to more energetic. Adding to Etna's intensified activity is the activity of the Stromboli volcano, located on an island in the Tyrrhenian Sea in southern Italy, which yesterday recorded an ash cloud with explosions and magma releases. Etna and Stromboli are the most explosive volcanoes due to the composition of the magma, and they can erupt more explosively due to minute variations in the chemical composition of their magma. The 3,330-meter-high volcano Mount Etna, Europe's tallest active volcano, is believed to have the longest documented history of eruptions among all volcanoes.